Or a naked man is chasing a woman through an alley with a butcher knife and a heart on her. I figure he isn't out collecting for the Red Cross. I think he's got a point. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Why do they call you Dirty Harry? Well, that's one thing about our Harry. Doesn't play any favorites. Harry hates everybody. Limeys, Nicks, Heaps, Fat Dagos, Niggers, Honkies, Chinks. You name it. How does he feel about Mexicans? Ask him. Especially Spicks. What I'm saying is that man had rights. Well, I'm all broken up about that man's rights. Uh -uh. I know what you're thinking, punk. You're thinking, did he fire six shots or only five? Now, to tell you the truth, I forgot myself and all this excitement. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> I never had to take my gun out of its holster once. I'm proud of that. Well, you're a good man, Lieutenant. A good man always knows his limitations. Excuse me, Captain. I know this may sound silly, but can you fly? Nope. Never had a lesson. They came to the academy after me. They stick together like flypaper, you know? Everybody thought they were queer for each other. I'll tell you something. If the rest of you could shoot like them, I wouldn't care if the whole damn department was queer. Excuse me, excuse me, could you uh, help us out? What do you want? Uh, maybe you could help us. We seem to be lost. Uh, we were looking for the entrance to San Quentin. You know where that is? It's back there. Don't you see too good? Yeah, I see fine. I just wanted to know whether you knew where San Quentin was. And you do, don't you? Asshole. You heroes have killed a dozen people this week. What are you going to do next week? It's not just a question of whether or not to use violence. There simply is no other way, Inspector. You, of all people, should understand that. Either you're for us or you're against us. I'm afraid you've misjudged me. Anyone who threatens the security of the people will be executed. Evil for evil, Harry. Retribution. That's just fine. How does murder fit in? You know, when police start becoming their own executioners, where's it gonna end, huh, Briggs? Pretty soon you start executing people for jaywalking and executing people for traffic violation. Then you end up executing your neighbor because his dog pisses on your lawn. Your organization's through, Briggs. There's a lot more where they came from, believe me. Move out of the way. Move it! It'll be my word against yours. And who's gonna believe you? You're a killer, Harry. A maniac.
Man's got to know his limitations. What about me? I'm your partner. I may have to move fast, and I don't need too much linguine to hold me back. You got a lot of class, Harry. Run, jive-ass bastard! What do they want? I want a car. What are you going to do? Give him one. Son of a bitch! What makes a man crazy enough to join the cops? You find out, you let me know, huh? I'm the robber. You're the cop. Now, I'm in a market, see? And you've just caught me? Dead bang at 2.11 in the act. But I'm coming out, see, and I got a hostage. A kid? With a gun at his head? There's no way you're gonna take me alive. Now, you've got 10 seconds to make up your mind. Here I come. What are you gonna do? One. You're... Two. You're under arrest. Three. Four. This is a boy or Do something. Seven. How, how tall eight. is he? Don't just stand there, goddammit. Do something. Bang. Cut. You're dead. You're late, Callahan. Sorry about that. Hello, Cross. Hi. I think he also said something about uh, winnowing the Neanderthals out of the department. Hypothetical situation, huh? All right, I'm standing on the street corner. And Mrs. Gray there comes up and propositions me. That if I come home with her for five dollars, she'll put on an exhibition with a Shetland pony. If this is your idea of humor, Inspector. All right, what are you trying to do here, Callahan? I'm just trying to find out if anybody in this room knows what the hell law is being broken besides cruelty to animals. That's a conspiracy under Title Seven, Section 182, Paragraph 1 of the California State Penal Code. A conspiracy to commit a misdemeanor is, in fact, a felony. And according to People versus uh, Bashor in yes, 1965... Yes, that's, that's right. Good answer. Thank you, Officer Moore. You'll be notified of your grade. Please. Look, I'm coming down there in five minutes. You better have those files open, you pencil-pushing son of a bitch. Okay, I give up. What's this? This is the Fillmore chapter of the VFW. Very few whites. I don't suppose it would do any good to suggest you wait in the car, Inspector? Don't concern yourself, Inspector. Decided the job becomes it necessary for me to pull this. See, somebody's. Fun, Inspector. If you're through socializing, we do have work to do. These people off you can, but don't do it with me. That's it, Callahan. You just got yourself a 60 day suspension. Make it 90. 180, give me your star. There's a seven point suppository, Captain. What did you say? I said, stick it in your ass. But the people who were killed, or isn't that against the law anymore? We're not debating the point. I'm simply telling you, you're out of it. But you're telling me, is anyone who's got balls enough to grab a hostage, he'll do it and can walk right away from it? I'm telling you, you're out of it. And if I hear otherwise, you're finished as a cop in San Francisco. Now, I want every bit of information that you've got in this case, every lead. Is that clear? May I make a statement, McKay? Go ahead. Your mouthwash ain't making it. Big punk. This is a protected operation. Now, you can end up with your balls in spaghetti sauce. Trying to tell me you've got a lot of clout with the syndicate, huh? Enough to blow you away with one phone call. Now, get the hell out of here. I see what you are to me, you little man. You're just a maggot who sells dirty pictures. Hey, Callahan. Don't look so puked out. Better luck next time, fool. <laughs> Listen, punk. To me, you're nothing but dog shit. You understand? And a lot of things can happen to dog shit. It can be scraped up with a shovel off the ground. It can dry up and blow away in the wind. Or it can be stepped on and squashed. So take my advice. Be careful where the dog shits you. How you boys put those guns down? <laughs> Say what? Well, we're not just gonna let you walk out of here. 
Who is we, sucker? Smith and Wesson and me. Go ahead. Make my day. I ought to bust your ass down the traffic. Or better yet, kick it off the force. You're a dinosaur, Callahan. Your ideas don't fit today. Just what ideas are these? That murder is a crime, that it shouldn't be punished? Hey, don't you lecture me, you son of a bitch. You know who you're talking to? Hmm? You know my record? Yeah. You're a legend in your own mind.